Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. Flourishes and glyphs in your lettering really can transform a project. They make it beautiful and much more elegant. This video will show you how to use the various glyphs and flourishes that are available in many fonts. Um, I have a MacBook Pro and it's it has a font book inside the, the system, but I just didn't like the way that worked. So um, I searched online and um, compared various options and found this um, character map, map called Ultra Character Map. And this one was great because it had all the fonts that you have in your library. It gives you a nice big chart of um, the various options available within each font. You can enlarge these if you need to see them larger. Um, I kind of like to stay middle of the road so I don't, you know, they're not this tiny but at the same time I can still see them. So right about there is where I like them. Uh, but if you look in Ultra Character Map and this app is $8.99 for a Mac. Um, if you look through I, one of my favorite fonts is Samantha Upright, just because of all the flourishes and glyphs and curly cues that letters have. So if you look in this font towards the end um, is where you'll get all the letters, the characters that have the curly cues on them. And some of these will be for a foreign language, um, but they're all available in here so these are all the A options um, and it's pretty amazing to see how many possibilities there are then you know obviously move into the B's there's a lowercase a you know it makes it um, here's one without all the various uh, like the umlauts on this one for example so you just have to look through them for the letters that you need. Now, how do you get it from Ultra Character Map and through Cricut Design Space? What you need to do is, um, first of all, if you go in here, you could type the text that you're looking to do, hope, for example. Um, and then if you look at this, it's just regular text. If you change this to Samatha Upright, you can search for it. Um, it's still fairly simple okay so this needs to make sure you need to make sure that this font here corresponds to the font you have in ultra character map so these two will match Samantha upright here and then Samantha upright in Cricut design space okay otherwise you'll end up with different characters once you type it you could work from this um, and just edit each letter. I'll move this up here so you can see it better. Um, and I'll enlarge it a little bit. So you could work with this and then just edit, or you can just delete the whole thing and type the letters one at a time. So we'll just do that. So we we'll need an H at this point. Back to Ultra Character Map. We're gonna go down to the H's. I, J, K, do my alphabet here. Whoops, passed it. So here are the H's. Lots of options. I mean, look at this, how beautiful to have this as a monogram, for example, on a towel or wedding invitations if you're doing that. Um, even just a card and have this as the accent letter. It's just gorgeous to have something like this. Here's another beautiful one. This has more of a tail to it. Um, you can see it in here. So this is where you can see, you know, if you want to change the color um, to it. This one has a different fill if you want to change the color, just so you see what it looks like before you import it in there. Um, but I do like this ultra character map because of all the features it has. So let's go with this letter. And I'll just keep it as that color, that's fine. Uh, you can go up here to copy and you're going to copy it as text. Then we need to go back to Cricut Design Space. 
and once you're in here you need to paste it because we copied it to the clipboard in ultra character map so we need to paste it either you can go you can right click and paste you can command v and paste or i just use the shortcut and command v in here so there's your letter so it just shows up as a little square in your text box but there's the letter and what it looks like now if this font didn't say El Samantha upright, I'll just pick a different one to show you. Um, this one, it's a question mark because the two fonts don't match. So you need to make sure that this font is Samantha upright. So we're back to this. Now we'll do the O. <clears throat> Go back to Ultra Character Map, look for an O, find one that you like. This is kind of a pretty one. So let's go with this, copy, copy as text, back to Cricut Design, go into the text box, Command V. There's the O. And then we, again we go back for the P, find the one that works for you like this one so we'll copy Cricut Design Space P and then we need the E so here are the E options and because it's the last letter that I'm using um, I think something with a little tail would be nice um, something like this there we go that's a nice because it's the last letter so I think it just has a nice flourish to the end of it copy it as text we go back to Cricut design and we paste it so as you can see you've got four little squares that you see here but here are all your letters so you have the four letters now if you were to go ahead and print this let's say make it you have the letters here individual letters but we what we want to do is connect them so that they're welded together and then it'll be easier once you try and apply this to whatever project you're working on in order to do that what we'll do is we'll zoom in on this it's easier to see if the letters are connected when you do that so I zoomed in to like 350 percent and these letters are now group together so you ungroup because you want to be able to move each letter individually so we move this until zoom in a little more just to make sure I'm not missing it because if your letter is just like this here it's not actually connected so I'm moving it just so that they're slightly overlap and then when you weld it you're kind of using a welding machine to weld this letter to this to connect them completely now we move the P I'm gonna move the O just slightly lower here and then you move the P over again just to overlap and then we'll move the E over so now they are all connected I'll zoom back out all the letters are connected to each other so when you cut this on the Cricut machine and you're removing you're transferring this to a, a transfer paper in order to put it on your project um, everything is one piece highlight all of them and then you come down here and you weld so now all the letters are attached to each other right and this is how you use um, ultra character map to get the letters into Cricut design space it's fairly easy, quick technique, and this just adds such a beautiful touch to your project to have to be able to do these kind of lettering. If you go to your character map and you click on some of the other fonts that you have in your arsenal, um, you can see all the options to create letters. These you wouldn't see if you were just typing in Cricut Design Space. For example, if I'm using this Safira and let's say I want to type letter T, I will go back to Cricut Design Space just to show you. Um, we're doing a text 
and we are changing this to font Safira. So there's the font. Um, so let's say if I type letter T, this is what it looks like. But if I, here's this letter, let's say is the one that I actually wanted. You copy it as a text, go here, and we change this, paste it, and there's the letter that you had in Ultra Character Map. It's pre pretty cool um, when you look at all the options for the various fonts. Some will not have as many, they're more standard, but a lot of the script ones will have more interesting flourishes and glyphs added on to the, the characters. So have fun exploring and can't wait to see your projects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, share, and give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much and see you next time.